Hi, this is Keenly, and we're going to do an acceleration lab using this track, the protractor, a backstop over here to stop your cart, and this cart right here. So, when I place it on the track right here with the back end against the edge of the track, the front end is at 16 centimeters. So I've got this plate here at 116 centimeters so that this cart will move exactly 100 centimeters or one meter. The objective is that you're going to time the cart traveling down the ramp. You're going to use that time and the distance to figure out the acceleration of the cart and the final velocity right before impact. We're going to do each angle three times, starting off with three degrees, then going to five degrees, then seven degrees, and then finally 10 degrees. Okay, time each trial, average the time for that angle, and use that to determine, again, the acceleration and final velocity. The procedure will go, I'll go ready, one, two, three, and release. And on release, I'll let go, the cart go. Three degrees, trial one, ready? One, two, three, release. Resetting the backstop. Three degrees, trial two. One, two, three, release. Trial three, one, two, three, release. Now we're at five degrees. Ready? One, two, three, release. Five degrees, trial two. Ready? One, two, three, release. Trial three. Ready? One, two, three, release. Going up to seven degrees. We're now at seven degrees. First run, ready, one, two, three, release. The impact slides to the stop, so I'm gonna reset it at 116 centimeters whenever it slides too much. Trial two, ready, one, two, three, release. Trial three, ready, one, two, three, release. Now we're going to go up to 10 degrees. Trial 
10 degrees, trial one. Ready? One, two, three, release. Ten degrees, trial two, ready, one, two, three, release. Trial three, ready, one, two, three, release. That's it for all the trials. Also think about this. What are some sources of error for this lab? Where could things have gone wrong? Thank you and tune in again for another lab. Bye. For this acceleration lab, you'll need a stopwatch. So you can use your phone or if you have a stopwatch that would be great or a timer on your computer. But you're going to time the time it takes for this cart to be released. When I say release, until it rows the one meter until it hits the end stop.